Welcome back to Business Live. Let me ask you this question. How rich is Ghana? Well, according to a research by Afriasia Bank, Ghana is the seventh wealthiest country in Africa with a total worth of $63 billion as of December 2017. Sounds great, but let's go for the details in our summaries. Ghana has been ranked the seventh wealthiest country in Africa with a total wealth of $63 billion as of December 2017. The figures were contained in Africa Wealth Report 2018. The report covers wealth, luxury, prime property and wealth management trends in Africa from 2007 to 2017 with projections to 2027. A daily graphic report says the capital Accra also maintained its 2017 ranking as the 10th wealthiest African city with a current total worth of $38 billion in the report. The country was also found to have a wealth per capita of $2,500, which was dwarfed in comparison to Mauritius's $32,700, South Africa's $12,900 and Namibia's $12,600. The management and board of Ghana Post Company Limited have outlined a number of strategies to revamp postal services, especially domestic parcel services. Interest in domestic parcels has waned considerably, affecting the operations of the company, and management says it is determined to reverse the trend. As Ghana joins the World to Mark World Postal Day today, Managing Director of Ghana Post, Mr. James Coffey, is of the view that many customers are unaware that the company undertakes domestic parcel deliveries. The domestic parcel delivery services, he explained, would help its customers and prospective customers to safely send your items from one part of the country to another. The Economic and Organized Crime Office, Yoko, has nabbed two directors of Wealth Drive Ghana Limited for operating a finance house without a license from the Bank of Ghana and the Securities and Exchange Commission. The two, Michael Bedou and Perry and Gideon Nketiah, were receiving deposits from the public without regulatory permits. A Deputy Executive Director of Yoko in charge of operations, Mr. Samuel Nanayinchi told the Daily Graphic that after a thorough search of their offices, customer application forms, agreements certificates and the list of customers payment schedules were retrieved. South Africa's finance minister has resigned after admitting meeting members of the Gupta family who have been accused of corruption. Elola Nene told an inquiry into the alleged influence of the Guptas about meetings that he had previously denied. The Guptas have been accused of working with former President Jacob Zuma to secure government contracts and determine cabinet appointments. Both the Guptas and Mr. Zuma strongly denied the allegations. Mr. Nene has been replaced by former central bank chief Tito Mbo Wayne. The International Monetary Fund has warned a trade war between the U.S. and China risk making the world a poorer and more dangerous place in its latest assessment of the global economy. The IMF has lowered its forecast for global growth this year and the next. It said that a full-blown trade war between the U.S. and China would put a significant dent in economic recovery. Its chief economist said further trade barriers would hit households, businesses and the wider economy. Entrepreneur Sir Richard Branson has said that Virgin Galactic is weeks away from its first trip into space. He said the firm would be taking people into space not too long after that. Sir Richard is in a race with Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos to send the first fee paying passengers into space. He founded the commercial space flight company in 2004. The company first promised suborbital space flight trips for tourists by the start of 2009, but delays in a fatal crash in 20. 14 prevented Sir Richard's original ambitions. Earlier this year, Virgin Galactic completed a supersonic test flight of its spaceship two passenger rocket ship, its first since the crash. The 67 year old multimillionaire was initially expected to take part in space flight before April this year.